Welcome to my channel, I'm Scott, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the process of valuing Fox's stock by analyzing their financial statements and dissecting their financial ratios so we can determine if it's a buy or a sell. Let's get started with the model. This is a large cap company, 18 billion market cap. They're trading at $41 a share and they have 446 million shares outstanding. Fox is a news, sports, and entertainment company. Its cable segment produces and licenses news and sports content, mainly in the US. They offer video on demand and streaming through Tubi with 80 million users. Let's look at their financials. The way you value a company is you estimate the free cash flows into the future and then you discount those numbers back to today's value. That's what we're doing in this video. And free cash flow is cash flow from operations minus capital expenditures. They had 2.2 billion of free cash on in 2021, but it came down to 1.6 billion in 2022, down 27%, down another 8% into 2023, up a little bit, up 4% in 2024. They did complete their 2024 fiscal year. Net income is the profit or loss on the income statement. It's revenue minus expenses. A similar trend, it went from 2.2 billion down 44% to 1.2 billion, then up in 2023, up again in 2024. Margins, double digits, 11% net income margin. Revenue is a sales for the company and that doesn't go up too much from 13 billion to 14 billion. Revenue was 15 billion in 2023. It came down 6% in 2024. They do pay a dividend of 1.3%, which cost them $240 million, which they can easily cover. They can cover it over six times with their free cash flow. Free cash flow is 1.5 billion. 1.5 billion over 240 million is 6.2. We estimated four years of future free cash flows. We also estimated a terminal value to all cash flows past year four, that's 27 billion. We discounted those numbers back to today using the weighted average cost of capital. We get a value of the company of $25 billion. We divide that by 446 million shares. And we get a calculated stock price of 55. They're trading at 41, so they're trading at a 25% discount. It's a buy according to the model. Do you think it's a buy or sell? Let me know in the comments. Simply Wall Street is bullish on this one. They're at $73. They say it's 44% undervalued. 22 analysts priced this stock at 41, exactly where they're trading at. There are 42 companies in the same industry as Fox, and if they have a number in red, they're worse than the median. If they have a number in blue, they're better. They spent 345 million in CapEx, a little more than the average. Debt to equity ratio 0.7, which is better than the median average. For every dollar of equity, they have 70 cents of debt. They do pay a dividend of 1.3%, higher than the average, lower than the median. Nexstar is number one at 4%. They generate lots of free cash flow. Triple Live Nation, they're at 1.5 billion. They rank fourth in market cap. All their price multiples are better than the median. So they do appear undervalued according to these ratios. They're trading at two times book value, 12 times earnings, a lot better than the median average, 12 times free cash flow. That's kind of funny, they're the same number. That is accurate, in trailing 12 months, their earnings and free cash flow are really similar. I showed you earlier when we looked at their numbers. And they're trading at 1.3 times revenue, which is equal to the median. Their revenue is 14 billion, and their five-year annual revenue growth rate is 4%, which is higher than the median, lower than the average, but a lot lower than Netflix, Disney, and Live Nation. Here's their latest income statement, the first quarter of 23, first quarter of 24. Revenue is down from 4.1 billion to 3.4 billion. That's not good. Operating expenses are down a lot from 2.7 billion to 2 billion. SGNA 500 million. So operating income 960 million. Last year it was an operating loss of 51 million. 257 million of taxes, net income 700 million. Last year a net loss of 50 million. They're buying back a lot of stock. Last year 521 million shares outstanding, now 474 million. So they bought back almost 10% of their stock. EPS of buck 41, last year a loss of 10 cents. So to summarize, I have them trading at a 25% discount. I give them a ranking of seven out of 10. They look really appealing, really undervalued according to their price multiples. Would I buy them? Six out of 10, I think I would buy them. It seems like it's at a good price point. Ratio is amazing ratio is nine out of 10. Look at that PE and price to free cash flow. So much better than the median in the industry. Financials, not so great, three out of 10. Free cash flow is going down and revenue is barely going up, only up 8% since 2021. So let me know what you think. Give the video a like, subscribe, or comment below. If you'd like to get a custom valuation or just support the channel, you can become a member by clicking on the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.